Hi everyone, it's Leah here. I have a great 10 minute ab blaster workout today that's really gonna set the core on fire. I have it all written down here, but don't worry, I'll be doing it with you guys. So, and I'll also be shouting out the exercises, so if you get lost, you can always just follow me. Um, so the way I have it designed is we're gonna be doing 10 exercises. Half of them we're gonna be on the back, the other half we're gonna be in a plank position, okay? We're gonna be doing 50 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest in between each exercise. Just one set through each exercise, straight through all 10 exercises and then you're done. And it's gonna be awesome and super fun. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the demonstrations of the exercises. All right, so starting with the demos here, Number one, a crunch with a leg extension. So hands behind the nape of your neck. As you crunch up, your heels are gonna tap out, bring it back to the center, release the head and neck down. Number two, we're gonna go for a right leg lift with a crunch. So that right hand's gonna be behind the nape of your neck. Reach that left arm out, that right leg is gonna go out. You're gonna go ahead and make contact, touching the right toe to the left hand. Number three, we're gonna go ahead and switch sides so that left toe is gonna to reach up and that right arm is gonna to try to touch it. Number four, we're gonna go into a lug hover with a roll. So laying flat down, making sure that lower back is planted on the ground the entire time. Extend the legs out. Big inhale, then exhale, crunching towards the center, releasing the legs out. So really great for the lower abs here. Number five, we're gonna go for an opposite toe touch stacking the legs up towards the sky. We're gonna go ahead and try to make contact the opposite arm towards the opposite the outside of that ankle bone. Really great work for the obliques here. Flipping over, we're gonna go into our plank work. Station number six, going into a bare alternating crunch. So you can either stay here on the knees, touching the mat and crunching it into the center, releasing that opposite arm back out, or you can go ahead and make it harder, hover those knees up, lift that left arm, opposite right leg, crunch it in the center, back out, and then switching sides. Station number seven, right side plank crunch. You have options here. You can either go ahead and drop that right leg, or excuse me, the left leg down. We're gonna go onto that left side forearm, lifting that right arm up, and then crunching into the center, trying to touch the knee to the elbow, or you can go with me and go into full extension here. So crunching up and then back out, repeating that motion. Number eight, we're just gonna do that on the same, or on the opposite side. So switching over to that left side. Again, reaching out and then exhale, crunching it in the center, getting that oblique work in. Number nine, we're gonna go into a dolphin to a plank. So you're repeating just that motion. The dolphin, you're gonna be on your forearms in that downward dog position. So pressing the hips up towards the sky. Inhale forward into that plank and exhale back for that dolphin. Number 10, we're gonna go for some opposite toe touches here. So coming in that plank position, touching the left hand to the right toe and back out. So again, working the whole entire core here especially that back, don't let those hips drop. All right, who's ready to get this workout started? Awesome, you guys, it's gonna be a really good one today. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start in that crunch leg extension number one exercise. 50 seconds of work here. Okay, so hands behind the nape of your neck, extend the legs out, we're going in three, two, one. Big breaths here, so inhales you come down and exhales you come up, really trying to crunch from the center of the core, extend those legs out, and use the belly button to draw the hamstrings and the legs back in. Try to keep those elbows as wide as you can, I know it's hard. We're just warming up the core here though. Really using that exhale to power yourself up. You're doing so great you guys. I'm so proud of you all for showing up, doing some abs today. We got about 15 seconds. 
Almost there, you guys. Really get those shoulder blades off the ground. Yeah, three, two, and one. Take that good 10 second rest here. Next, we're gonna go into a right leg lift crunch. In three, two, and one. So extending that right leg out, reaching for that toe, and back out in that extension. It's okay if you can't make contact with the toe. That's just your goal, okay? Each time you do this workout, you can get better. Your core will get stronger. You'll get even more flexible in this movement. Really squeezing that right oblique, okay? Think about that core crunching in, that navel is squeezing towards the spine. Again, inhale as you come down, exhale as you come up. It's really important to link these breaths with the movement. It's going to help squeeze that core a little bit more in that exhale. Almost there, you guys. We got five more seconds. Give me one more, and then we'll take a rest. All right, all that next side, we're going to go into the left leg lift crunch. So extend that left leg out. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Crunch it up. Again, really trying to get the shoulder blades off the ground here. Try to reach higher every single time. Challenge yourself here. I am feeling the burn already. If you're not quite feeling the burn, really reach for that toe and squeeze that belly button towards the spine as you come up. Almost through with this, you guys. Got about 15 seconds. Next up, we have our leg hover to roll. So we're gonna give that neck a little break after this one. Give me one more tap and we're resting. All right, so next we're gonna go into that leg roll to a hover. Okay, so work in the lower abs. We got three, two, and one. Let's start to roll. Really squeeze the quads, squeeze the legs together. Try not to let those heels separate. Make sure you're relaxing the neck down. There should be no tension in the neck. In that roll, up, squeeze that belly button towards the spine. Use that core to lift the legs up and then roll them back out. You're doing great, you guys. 15 more seconds. We're making it through this workout. Already almost halfway done with this. Give me one more good roll after this. One more. And then we're resting. Alright, you guys. Last one on the back. Going for opposite toe touches. So let's go down our, our toes together up towards the sky in three, two, one. Trying to reach for the opposite ankle. I like to do in a little fighter position here, so that fist come back to center, but you can also have the hands behind the nape of your neck. Whatever floats your boat today. Try to imagine there's a string pulling your legs up towards the sky, so really trying to straighten them out. I know it's not possible for everyone, and even I have a slight bend in the knees. Once you get more flexible, more stronger, you can go ahead and send them out a little bit higher. All right, you guys, 10 more seconds. Maybe let's drop them down a little bit lower, engaging the lower abs here. Give me one more tap on each side, and then we're resting. All right, we're gonna go into our plank position here. So bare alternating crunch. You can either hang on the knees, or you can hover the knees up. So three, two, one, let's go ahead and go. You're gonna reach out, opposite arm, opposite knee, crunch in, send it out, and then drop down, switching legs and arm here. This one is a burner. Try not to let that neck drop. Really great for the balance. I'm struggling with you guys. Remember, you can always drop the knees if you need to. Nice, slowly controlled here. I'm right there with y'all. Keep breathing, keep pushing. The plank work is always the hardest. 
10 more seconds, y'all. Try to get one more on each side. You got three, two, and one. All right, going for that right side crunch here. Coming down to that forearm position, we're going in three, two, and one. Reaching that oblique up and out. So trying to make contact with that right elbow, right knee. Great job, you guys. Try to squeeze that hip high. And again, you can always drop it to the knee here, okay? Especially if you notice any hip pain. I tend to get some SI joint inflammation, so then that's when I drop it to the knee. When it gets into your hip, you don't want to work, hurt your lower back, your hip joint. Okay, this is all in the obliques. So squeeze, 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 and back up. Y'all are doing great. Y'all are so strong. 10 more seconds, y'all. Almost there. Three, two, one. Drop it down. Switching over to the other side. Whew. Maybe putting on a sweat already. We got three, two, and one. Let's go. So we're inhale as we reach out, exhale as we crunch. Great job, you guys. Squeezing that hip up. Trying to touch the knee to the elbow. Even if you can't, just try, okay? Just imagine your oblique is squeezing there. Dropping it to the knee if you need to, okay? Y'all are doing great. Stay with me, stay strong. Remember, we don't want pain here, okay? It's okay to feel uncomfortable, but any pain, that's when you know that you need to drop it to the knee. We're almost there, y'all. Give me two more crunches. Last one. And we're resting 10 seconds. All right, coming to that plank, forearm plank to dolphin. All right, coming to that forearm plank. Three, two, one. Shifting it up, inhaling down. Up to that dolphin, inhale down. And that forearm plank, don't let that neck drop, that's bad. Keep that gaze out towards the fingertips. Y'all are doing great. Hey, after this one, we only have one more exercise. How amazing is that? So strong, y'all. 20 more seconds. This is also great for the shoulders. Okay, don't let that booty drop, drop though. Okay, don't let any mountains either. Keep it nice and straight in that forearm plank and then send the hips up. We got three, two, and one. Maybe shake it out. We got one more here, you guys. Coming into opposite toe touches. That plank position up on the arms. We got three, two, one. Touch that opposite ankle, opposite arm. Squeeze that core in. Nice, slowly in control. It's okay if you wobble. This is not meant to be easy at all. Y'all are doing great, stay with it. Really try to turn that ankle, rotate that shin parallel. Almost there, you guys. We're so close, 15 seconds, control that movement. Maybe you notice one side is easier or harder. Great job, guys, five more seconds. Give me two more taps on each side, nice and fast. And we're dropping it down all the way to the belly. Woo! Give your hips a little relaxation. Open up the chest here and the abdominals. Y'all did awesome today. Woo, sweating. Big inhale, looking up towards the sky. Exhale, sending the hips back, child's pose. Slowing that breath down here. Releasing any tension in the hips, in your head, in your neck. Maybe rolling that neck side to side.
walking the hands to meet the knees. Thank you all for joining me on this core workout. If you guys do this often, I know you will see changes and you'll feel so much stronger. So yeah, let me know if y'all wanna see anything else and thanks for coming.